this is the ground floor plan this is the first floor plan of 2 bhk and 1 bhk and 38 feet 6 inch into 30 feet area i have already created this also i have provided column on plan as per proper column orientation you will find this in the description box this is the column layout plan which i have already provided and its link also you will get in the description box hi everyone welcome to civil engineering tutorials in this video i will show you detailed staircase calculation of 2 bhk and 1 bhk in 38 feet 6 inch into 30 feet area so if you are new to my channel then click the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos also don't forget to follow me on facebook instagram and twitter to get all kinds of updates so let's get started so here you can see this is the vertical line that is rise and the horizontal line that is tread building height 10 feet building height is 10 feet landing 3 feet here you can see here to here this is landing 3 feet desired rise you have to take 6 inch here i am taking 6 inch you can take 5 inch 6 inch or 7 inch here i am taking 6 inch the vertical line that is rise tread i am taking 10 inch this is the horizontal line this is tread here you can see the here to here this is tread you can see tread on plan this is 10 inch so first total number of rise we have to calculate that is height of building divided by desired rise height of building is 10 feet and desired rise 6 inch so 10 feet divided by 6 inch we are getting 20 numbers of total number of rise the number of flight we have two numbers of flights here you can see this side and this side two numbers of flights now number of rise for one flight total number of rise divided by two we have two numbers of flights so number of flight for one flight means total number of flight to 20 numbers divided by two two numbers of flight so 20 total number of rise 20 divided by two we are getting number of rise for one flight 10 numbers hope you understand now number of trades for one flight is number of rise in one flight minus one so number of rise in one flight minus one number of rise in one flight 10 minus one nine numbers now total trade in one flight total trade in one flight number of trades in one flight into length of one trade here you can see the here to here this is total trade so total trade means number of trade in one flight into length of one trade so this is total trade so number of trades in one flight these are num uh, length of one trade here to here this is length of one trade that is 10 inch number of trades in one flight 9 into length of one trade 10 inch 9 we have calculated number of trades for one flight and trade length here to here distance length of one trade 10 inch that is 90 inch or 7 feet 6 inch so total trade in one flight 7 feet 6 inch total number of rise 20 numbers number of flight we have 2 numbers number of rise for one flight 10 numbers total number of rise divided by 2 10 numbers number of trades for one flight 9 numbers number of rise in one flight minus 1 now total trade in one flight number of trades in one flight into length of one trade that is 90 inch or 7 feet 6 inch here to here total length of staircase minus landing is total trade in one flight okay here total length of staircase we don't know so we have to calculate through this formula number of trades in one flight into length of one trade now total length of staircase for one flight we have to calculate that is total trade 
plus length of landing. Landing we have 3 feet and total tread we have calculated 7 feet 6 inch. So 7 feet 6 inch plus 3 feet. That is 10 feet 6 inch is total length of staircase for one flight. If we have total length of staircase then, cal uh, then how to calculate total tread? Total uh, length of staircase minus landing will be total tread. So we, uh, we have building height 10 feet, landing 3 feet, desired rise 6 inch, tread 10 inch, total number of rise 20 numbers, number of rise for one flight 10 numbers, number of treads for one flight 9 numbers. Total tread in one flight 7 feet 6 inch and total length of staircase for one flight 10 feet 6 inch. So we have calculated this. Here you can see this is 3 feet landing. Building height 10 feet we can see in the elevation here to top of the roof slab to plinth level. Plinth to top of roof slab is building height 10 feet. Landing 3 feet. Then this is 6 inch rise. Tread here this is 10 inch. Here, this is and this is 10 inch tread. Total number of rise 20 numbers. You can see here 1. You can count from here to 20 numbers. So, I will 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So each flight 10 numbers in total number total 20 numbers. Number of rise for one flight 10 numbers. Here this side 10 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Total number of trades in one flight 9 numbers. Okay. So trades 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Rise 10 numbers. Tread, rise minus 1, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 numbers of treads in one flight. So here to here, this length total tread 7 feet 6 inch. And total length of staircase 10 feet 6 inch. Means here to here 10 feet 6 inch. Now I will uh, show you, I will create the elevation and we will check whether it is correct or not whether this calculation is correct or not we will check here so first this is the staircase i will copy this i'll simply copy i will create elevation and section of this plan in my next video so here i will simply Check whether the calculation is correct or wrong. So now delete all the extra elements. Trim this. So I'll track uh, the plinth level. Horizontal line I'll track. I'll do my extra for this. This is the plinth level, give offset, offset distance, 2 feet 6 inch. If you want to give ground level to plinth level height, give 2 feet at 6 inch. If you, but here I will simply check here, so I will not draw so much. Here I will show you, so this is the plinth level I will consider. Now building height I will, get, uh, I will take 10 feet from plinth level to top of slab. 10 feet now take vertical line this side and here sorry you will check uh, you have to take here again I will do take construction line vertical line here another line here and another line here three lines you have to take now I will extend the trade lines to 
roof slab level i'll extend okay so this is tread now i will create steps so make stair layer current layer i will change the color color i'll check uh, any type any color uh, you can check so here i will use polyline pl enter specify first point here so mm, those lines not required so i'll start from here make ortho on 6 inch rise 10 inch tread Again, six inch, ten inch, six inch, ten inch, six inch, ten inch. You have to continue like this till landing. Ten inch, six inch, ten inch. This is the way you have to create elevation of your staircase or section, elevation and section. Six inch, ten inch, six inch. 10 inch this is again last 6 inch and this is the landing draw here and trim the extra line so here this reference lines are not required so i will simply trim okay now this side we have to mirror from here select you can see count it's 10 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 numbers of threads. So 10 numbers of rise and 9 numbers of threads. So I will mirror now here to here. This is building height 10 feet. And take a vertical line. I will take here. mirror this this is the midpoint and press enter you can see we have touched here so our calculation is correct this like this you have to calculate and you have to check trim i will draw this uh, complete elevation front elevation section in my next video with estimation of this house also I'll create. You have to trim like this. Delete all the lines. Here I will provide slab. I'll change the color to this one. And I'll do match properties. Offset 5 inch and 5 inch roofs. Uh, this is the staircase slab. Now delete this. This side you have to draw a line on the staircase. Here to here. You offset 4 inch. Select this side. And I will fillet this here to here. Same process you have to follow here. Draw a line. Here to here, give offset of 4 inch. Here to here and delete. Make it, make it fillet. Delete this line. And extend this line to this staircase. And we have to, you have to do math properties. You have to keep in. One layer, staircase layer. I'll extend this line. Now give offset of 6 inch. Select. Click here. Take line command. 6 inch. This side 8 inch. But what I will do, I will escape this. Again this side 6 inch. And trim the extra lines. And trim here. This is like you have to create the elevation. So, I hope you understand. I will create this again. So, check here. Another line you can 
see if I will if you want to check it again sorry take construction line vertical line I'll check you can check this staircase is correct landing sorry landing three feet this is seven feet six inch total length of staircase 10 feet 6 inch tread 10 inch rise 6 inch tread 10 inch rise 6 inch you can see here also 6 inch so this is the staircase elevation so basic I am sewing I am not creating railing and all here. So we have calculated this. So I hope you like this video. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.